What a morning. We're stuck here till Monday, guys. That's what we are. We're stuck till Monday. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know yet. I'm gonna keep looking for empty trailers and see if I can't find an empty trailer today. But uh, chances are not going to happen. But I did get my new truck. If you can tell, the nice big window right there. Nice big window on this truck. I got two of them on either side. I got one over here. And I got one right there. And best part about it is inverter right here, guys. Now, if anyone can explain to me how to reset this fault code, that'd be great because I really don't understand the fault code right here. All of this, 12.8, working like a charm, like it's supposed to. Um, it's keeping everything charged. Everything's going good on this uh, APU. I got a nice little freaking whatchamacallit to keep track of things. And then I got this with the sleep donut and accent light. That's only the two features that I have with the lighting on this truck. So there you go with that. It is a 2023 International, ladies and gentlemen, with 181,265 miles. Not a bad kit. I got storage all over, as you can tell. I got storage right there with stuff in it. And then I have storage right here with stuff in it. I got two storages right here and a storage right there. So, not that bad has a lot more a little bit more storage but realistically not as much storage as freightliner and let me explain why because they're not as deep and they don't have as much in there lori hello jim hello and i'm trying to figure things out with the camera setup and the uh pat ta pat pat ta the tablet setup it's going to be a bit tricky um but i, I should uh I should figure it out Fortunately, they don't give us the instruction manuals for that because that's, uh, that's, they, they just don't. As a matter of fact, I got to go see if there's a manual for the actual truck that comes with the actual truck. So, what time is it? Is it 4.30 yet? Because if it is, uh, 4.10. I should be able to make it to the shop. Real quick, let's all take a walk to the shop because I'm going to ask what happened to my manual to my truck. I had a manual to the truck. It's no longer here. Let me go see if I can get a, a copy of the manual for the truck. I didn't think about that. Uh, I needed a manual to my truck. Because, you know, I would like to have a manual for my truck. We're just going to head over there and ask for the manual if they can get one for us. If not, I got an idea on where I could get one, potentially. Potentially go get one. You know? So, as always, they throw everything out in the clean-out bay. They don't think to keep the manual to the truck truck. They just throw everything out, and they don't care. When some people want that manual to the truck, actually quite important to have a manual to the truck so and that's give me something to read at night too hello everybody how's everybody doing hey, one second guys i'm walking a little bit faster than i should but that's okay Uh, doors are shut. That's kind of a good sign. Oh, 
awesome. Thank you. Oh. Did you all hear that? They take them out. They take the manuals that come with the truck out of the truck. Why? Why do they do that? Do they want us to be just dumb? Like, come on, some people don't like reading things online. I don't mind. Don't get me wrong. But, uh... I'd rather not have to do that, if I'm all honest here. You know? But, that's why. Kind of wild that they do that. They would take the a manual out of the truck and stuff of that nature. It's crazy. Oh well. Okay, dokie. That's alright. Grease. Uh, I don't really want to buy fist wheel grease, so I'm gonna get some fist wheel grease. I have some, but I want some from the shop. Just in case I meant to ask that one question. I meant to ask that one question too, but that's the spirit of fist wheel grease. If not, I can always go tomorrow. No problem. I don't think they're open tomorrow. I think they're actually shut down tomorrow. Which would be surprising. That's crazy. Hi, everyone. Give me a few minutes. I'm actually walking back to the shop. Because I'm silly like that. And I meant to ask for fifth wheel grease. But it slipped my mind. Like it always does. You know what I'm saying? Oh, they closed the door. It's not even 430 and yet they closed it. That's crazy, guys. They closed the door as before 4.30 and they closed it. Oh well, I told you this place doesn't like having nothing here. Oh well. That's all right though. Hey, I'll do what they want to do. $50 for a paper copy or $10 for... Now, I ain't spending money on something I can get for free now. At least I hope I can get it for free. If I call the international dealership, they might give me one. I'm not spending money. Not that I don't really need it, but it would be nice to have it. In my humbleness of an opinion. You know? Hello! Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and the notification bell, y'all. Walking back to my truck. Now, I was trying a few things today. Or getting things sorted. And uh, trying to get this camera situation set up. Because they have an in-facing camera now. On our trucks, they have in facing cameras, which I don't particularly like, but it's all right. So, for me to find something on that makes it a bit challenging, that's all. You know? 
I'm hoping Monday they can give me a load or something so I can get the heck out of here and start running, guys, because as it stands right now, I'm not getting a paycheck next week, which is kind of scary for me, to be honest with you. Uh, and those are all freight liners over there. But, uh, where's my truck? There it is. So, give you guys an inside tour of the truck. Oh, God. Ugh. Oh, am I covering the camera up? I apologize, guys. Have I been covering up the camera this whole entire time? How rude of me. How rude. I'm so rude. I apologize, y'all. But, uh... Right now, I have the thing set here, which I'm trying to figure out how to get this situated. As you can tell, I have the camera thing sitting right here, but as you can tell, it's not meant to really be sitting on a, on a thing like this. Why is my camera all funky? Hold on, guys. Ooh, well, hey, what's up? Okay. Let's clean you guys. Is that good? Hopefully that's good. Is that better? Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's much better. All right, so as you guys can tell, we have an unfacing camera. That is something I don't have a choice in. They're installing that in every single truck. I do not have a choice in that, so it's going to be interesting. All right? Yes, it covers the entire truck. All right? The entire truck. Second of all, I have this right here. As you can tell, it's really loose. It's not really attached to anything, but it is what it is. Maybe if I let it sit for a couple hours, it will be better. But right now, that is going to have to stay there. Uh, unfortunately, either way you guys look at it, it doesn't look like you're going to get much of a view other than this. You know, um, I'm trying to... Figure out the view. However, with the current with the current situation at hand, it's a uh, a little bit uh, tricky, as you can tell. So we'll get that sorted one day. I'll get that sorted hopefully soon. You know, I might have to buy a new uh, what you call it there, uh, which isn't too bad. Uh, let's go over the dash for you guys. Your odometer, your RPMs right here. Right here is your RPMs. This is your oil pressure right down here. You got 181,832 miles, guys. All right. Over here, you got your water temperature on the far left-hand side. And in the middle, you got your airline one which is your emergency red line, your airline two, which is your blue line, and your gas, which I hardly have any gas. I have about 30 gallons in my tank right now. Hence why the truck's not on. Over here, you have your odometer or your speedometer and increments of what looks to be of 10, going up by 10s here. And then you got on the bottom number your regular and uh, kilometers. I'm at a thousand subscribers. So we thank you to everybody who subscribed for hitting that goal. I greatly appreciate it. Right. So we got that. Um, we're going to turn it on real quick. Let it run cycle right there. As you can see, this is the startup cycle for the International 2023. I have the air on. And it says something about lane departure system disabled. Why? Because there's a button over here that I will take momently look at. You heard that hissing noise? That's the, that's the airlines and all that stuff airing up and pressurizing. You're sitting at less than 100 miles, 100 psi in each system. And it's holding steadily. Not bad. If I turn off the sequence right here and do this, I hit this, 
and I hit this, it now turns on your uh, the idle system. If I hit that, and I hit that, it turns everything off, and it's perfectly fine. That's your Opti idle system and your sleeper control. I'm not going to turn it on because I only have 30 gallons of tank in my tank, or 30, 30 gallons of diesel in my tank, and I don't want to burn gas. As you can tell, there's a lot of hoopla, hoopla buttons over here, and these buttons do one thing and one thing only. They help me control the truck's lighting system and functionality of the fifth wheel and the back end of my truck. This is your PDL lock. I believe that's your, I'm pretty sure that's like a four wheel drive. This is your traction control lock. It's like four wheel drive all except on steroids. This, I have no idea what it is. If someone knows what this button is, someone knows what this button is that'd be great i'm assuming that's a hill start assist if i was on a hill i'm going to assume this is your light for your lighting here i think no what is that hold on what button did i just press no oh actually i know what that is off and if I'm mistaken, yes, it doesn't turn the light on, even though it should. If I hit that button right there again, it should turn on the lights. It does, as you can tell, it turns on the light. So if I hit that one button, which I will show you guys, it is currently on when the door opens. Right there, it stays on for about 30 seconds. If I hit this button, it turns it off. As you can tell, it is off. And now if I open the door, I don't have that light coming on. So that's a useful button to have if I had a teammate, which I do not. Oh, no. I'm missing a button up here that turns on my light there, which is fine. I can deal with it. You know, this truck has more buttons missing than I ever want to know. Because if you look at my steering wheel, I'm missing the button here. And I'm missing the logo right here. All right? Missing the logo, and I'm missing a button. That's okay. Alright. As you can tell, all of my stuff up here. Alright, we're going to move forward up to the top, guys. Oh, God, I'm at 10%. That's not good. Hold on, I got to plug you guys in. Uh, just let you guys know, I think YouTube might have turned the AdSense on for me. So, forgive me if you guys are getting ads. Hold on, it's going to be upside down. There we go. Alright. Paper towel holder. Something I didn't have in my last truck, I have now in this truck. Which is amazing right here. This is a cubby. I basically am going to keep my clean supplies and cat supplies and stuff up here. This is where my cat will sleep occasionally. Right here where she'll sleep when I'm driving if she chooses to. Back to the dash. Because I like to explain myself a thousand times. Right? Alright, we left off with this button. This button controls the, uh, the overhead light for your door. If it's on, it's on. If it's off, it's off. Alright, this is your headlight. Watch and learn for that button. Turns on my dome and cab light. I hit that button again, it turns it off. On the bottom half of this button is my floor light. Watch and observe, you'll see a red light come on. Red light on, red light off. Red light on, red light off. That is this button right here, all right? If you want to say you turn on sleep auto climate, you turn this button on right here. Mind you, it only works when Opti Idle is on, all right? This and this button have to coincide with each other, unfortunately, for it to work. This is your lane departure. Flip it up, turns it off. Flip it down. I turn it down there, I turn it on. Off, on, off, on. Lane departure, right here. This is your lane departure, right here, guys. Uh, coffee, gotta have coffee. Another coffee, gotta have coffee. 
This is your air vent right here, speed. Tells you how fast you're blowing your air out. This is your temperature gauge. As you can tell, it goes down all the way down to 60. Goes as high as 85. Right there, that's pretty bad. This is your vent controls for your feet, face, your defrost, and your feet defrost right here. All control. Basically, if you want to check your defrost and feet, you go to that setting right there. Per requirement. This is your park regen. You click that on if you want to clean out your park regen. This is basically if your engine is going to go in regen, you have to clear out the soot and articles in your uh, engine compartment thing. I will have someone explain that better. Alright. Fifth wheel slide, like in my last truck, this is your fifth wheel slide. You attach the trailer, you land, lower the landing gear, you don't attach your air brakes, but you don't detach from the trailer. This helps move your fifth wheel forward and backwards. Right there. This is your fifth wheel slide. This is your air dump suspension to the back end of your truck. So if you're hooking up to a trailer and you really need to get underneath that trailer because it's too low, you could try this depression first before trying to raise a trailer that's 43,000 pounds and breaking your flipping back like I did a few weeks ago. This is supposed to lower the trailer or not the trailer, but the back end of your truck to get underneath the trailer that's maybe too low before you have to crank it up and do the crank of shame. This is very useful. This is your fan control speed. This is your climate control speed. Both of these coincide with this button and this right here. But it's controlling that right there, which I will move to shortly. Engine brake. Why is my phone only at 10%? It's not good. It's not good at all. All right. I'm going to move a little bit quicker because I don't think my phone's charging correctly. Well, it's got to be charging correctly. I think. Let's move on to the engine brake real quick, guys. Because engine brake's really important for not having to use your pedal brake. This is your engine brake right here. Going down goes it to one. Going down all the way down goes it to three, two, one, and not. All right. Uh, over here, you have your wipers. Press in for windshield fluid wipers. All right. I'm going to show you guys, not that I want to, but I'm going to anyway. Um, if you hit this switch right here, it's supposed to control the steering wheel, but I'm not. Makes no sense at all, because you got to actually... Press down on it right there. Alright. If you do it that way, right there, this helps move your steering wheel up, down, and stuff like that. I'm gonna leave it as high up as right now because I got things to show you guys. Alright. Alright, moving on real quick. This is your lights. Uh it does have auto. That's your auto right there. Right, that's your auto. That's that's off right there. That's just your side lights, your side marker lights for your trailer and front end of your truck. This is your regular lights for everything to turn on. This is I believe your I believe this is your auto sensing lights and stuff like that. This button right here is a lamp check. That's basically your your um your test button to test all your lights and indications. This is your work light right here. All right. Turn on this. Turn on that because it is going to need to be turned on here. All right. Sorry, I was doing something. Yes, AKA Jake Brake. This is your Jake Brake right here, guys. One. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna have to turn it on real quick, guys. I don't have to turn it on completely. Just something there. All right, if you guys look at the control module real quick, you'll see. 
You see that green light that just popped up? That is your jake brake. I have in level one, level two, and level three, which is the highest level that really slows down your truck on a 6% grade. Push it all the way up, the light turns out and your jake brake is no longer on. All right? It's actually quite interesting. Rocket launcher, I wish it was. Uh, I think that controls there. Now, the best thing about this truck that I personally like is the window features and the lock button. Lock. Unlock. Lock. Unlock. Lock. Unlock. This is the best feature I love by far right here, guys. Yes, it sounds daft, but to me, it is a godsend sometimes. The window controls up, control down. We all know what that is. Control up, control down. It works out well, in my opinion, guys. I'm gonna plug you guys back in. Oh, by the way, this switch right here heats up the mirrors. So we got that, that's good. All right, I'm gonna move you guys to the front of the truck where you guys won't die on my phone because I thought I had a plug-in and I do have a plug-in. Hold on guys. So I do have a plug-in. I don't like the looseness of that plug. That's okay. Let's see if this helps a little bit better. Hold on guys. Plugging you guys in. charge wow I don't even know how do I know it's on I don't know it's on hmm. all right well I'm moving you guys to the front and we're gonna talk while I wait for my phone to charge up here so uh, plug on plug on there we go okay I got that plugged in which is a good. Oh yeah, absolutely, you know. Yeah, you did see a USB jack. Uh, right here. You got one right there. You got this one right here that basically hooks up to the control stereo. It also has an answering feature system instead of it, it well, you have it on the steering wheel. But right here, you can answer the phone calls right here. You can decline them and hang up like a rude person sometimes if you really wanted to, in case you didn't like the person. Radio controls like we always have. The only thing it doesn't have is your disc player. It doesn't have a CD player. But you got USB galore here, guys. You got a USB plug right here. You have a USB plug right here. Right here, USB plug. And a USB plug right here. So your USB plugs are all over the place in this truck, guys. Alright. So, really. Oh, crap. Hold on. It's actually quite nice. Turn that off. Turn that. Oh, I have to... Turn it off, then turn it on for it to be like that, which is fine. All right. All right, so, oh uh, yeah, I got little seasons by the way too, guys, because I was hungry. Uh, just let you guys know, you might have ads being played, so just let you guys know, because now I'm at a subscriber account that YouTube wants to push that in there, and I have to disable it somehow, if I can. All right. Just because I am i can't remember what I've started and what I've stopped with. This is your light. It's missing a button. I'm going to have to figure out how to get a button replaced because that hurts my fingers every time I have to hit it. So, I'd like to know how on earth things went missing from this truck. Light on, light off. Right there. I'd like to know how that happened, but it does. You got storage up here. You got storage up here. You got storage right here. If you open this up, like a good little lad that I am, you got 
things, Wi-Fi, satellite, whatever it is. I think this is only for company policy that they have this. I cannot access it. This is where your CB radio is going to go once I get hooked up, which I have no... I don't think... I don't think I'm going to be able to get a CB radio with this hookup here. Doesn't look like it. I'll have to have someone look at it for me and see if I can get a CB radio hooked up to that. Uh, yeah, that's going to be interesting. But that's where your CB radio goes. Shut that. Paper towel holder, one of my favorite little gadgets of all time in this thing. I absolutely love it. Moving on to this side. Same thing. My book for cards and all that stuff. I thought I had a manual in here. I guess I don't have a manual in here. That kind of stinks, if you ask me. Well, well. Go and figure. Does it not surprise me that they couldn't keep the manual? No, it doesn't. All right. Moving on. To the back. To the back, you got little cubbies. Cubby number one, which I keep random stuff in. I keep my pants here, my shirts here, in here. Just random stuff, random stuff. And my socks and underwear and that's cubby plus random stuff as well. I got a helmet for my GoPro camera. I got cat food up there, which I'll move from up here to down here somewhere. I'll move it here. I got my cat litter box right down there. I got my little playing system right down there, which is a PS5. I don't have a TV. If anyone knows how to get a TV mount in here, please let me know. Because I have no idea where I'm going to put a TV mount, if I can even put a TV mount in here at all. So if anybody knows anything like that, please let me know. It would behoove me to have a TV mount in here. I have a light under here for reading if I really wanted to. I have a reading light right here. I have a little desk light thing here. As you can tell, I have a drawer here that I have nothing in it. And I have a table, a little miniature table that I can sit, pull out, and eat my dinner, such as my pizza. Ouch. Without jamming my finger. Right here, you got a step stool in case I had somebody wanting to sleep on top of the bunk. They step on here, step on here, and get up here. Very useful, in my opinion. Uh, personally, I don't like this feature. I like the ladder system. It's much better, for my opinion. But this feature is only in internationals. Um, as you guys can tell, moving on to this. I'm going to have to unplug you guys real quick. And hope to God you guys don't go away. I'm going to explain this the best I can. This is your inverter system. Power on. Settings. Temperature, fan speed, fast, low, cool, hot, auto. Cigarette lighter and or outlet right here for your USB ports and all that. You got your dome light. You got your floor light. It controls this. All right. That controls your floor light, headlight, and whether you want it on, dim, bright, or super bright. Okay. That's pretty much it right there. If you guys like this video so far, please let me know. Uh, I'm going to grab a quick drink before we move to the outside. Right. How do you guys like the video so far? My cat might lock me up. That's why I have a spare key at all times, guys. Always carry a spare key. Just to let you guys know, right here, I have a light right here. That if I press a little button underneath, that turns on right there. I don't have a light here, which is kind of sad, but that's okay. It's my reading light right there. I do not have one on there because they expect your head to be here. They want your head to be here. I got coffee cup holders, cup holders, and all that stuff right here. I got random places to keep crap if I really wanted to. I got another cup holder. Like, how many drinks do they expect me to have back here? Oh, I'm only one person. Good lord, it feels like I'm going to throw a party in here. Alright. Alright, time to move this back into my charging stage. Because I have a feeling... I have a feeling that my phone's going to die on me. 
I should have had this thing fully charged before uh, doing this, but I didn't want to get really, really sleepy and like fall asleep halfway through. If you guys know what I mean, you know? Hi, Trump. Hi, Molly. Hello, everybody. As you guys can tell, my bedding is not completely set, but it's getting there. My bedding right here. I have my blankets up here. I got my pillowcase and pillow up here somewhere. Pillowcase, which I still have to put on my pillow and put pillow. And I got Mr. Oh, where's Mr. Wolf? I have Mr. Wolf here. So, oh, here's Mr. Wolf. Found Mr. Wolf. Mr. Wolf has been found. He can go sit over there or lay down. Whatever he likes to do, that's up to him. Windows open and close for my comfort. This is one thing that Atlantis is absolutely going to love right here. Flip this open like so. There is a actual... Actually, you should pull it from here. That closes it. That opens it. Close. Open. Close. Open. Same thing on that side. It does the same thing. Pardon the mess. I still haven't completely organized it, guys. So I apologize. Kimberly, hello. How's everybody doing tonight? Hope everyone's doing all right. I hope you guys are liking the new truck tour. Um, golly. The only thing I don't like are the plugs right now because they're too loose. That's okay. Let's move on down here real quick, guys, and show you guys underneath here. I got another outlet right here for another USB port kind of looking thing that I can put in here. This is my light area right here. This is where I keep part of my broom for cleaning up this mess right here. This area is the cat litter area. And it's also the refrigerator area. Because I could put a refrigerator in here and move the litter box somewhere else if I really wanted to. But I'm not going to right now because that's what it's going to be. Uh, I have, uh, actually, if we move, move that out, you see that plug right there? That's for your refrigerator to plug into. That does actually plug into it right there. That's the little refrigerator port right there. Moving that back. Oh, my cat doesn't get confused. That's the inside of the truck, guys. I like the auto stuff here. It's working out well so far, in my opinion. 9% uh, charge. Wow. It's not bad. So far, it's looking pretty good, guys. So, uh, could it be better? Absolutely. It could be a whole lot better. Does it charge? Hold on, guys. Will it charge if it is in here? Because if it is, no, it doesn't. I have to have it plugged into here for it to charge. All right, well, that stinks. Oh, well. But, yeah, I need a fridge. Absolutely, I need a fridge because it's actually quite vital to here. All right. Okay, so, as you guys can tell, I have the in-facing camera turned on. It's green. That means it's recording, and it's absolutely driving me bonkers. Too bad I don't have anything like that. I don't really want it, but I have to have it, all right? Needs to be accessorized. What does that mean? Outside look like, right? Well, you guys are gonna be in for a treat, because, by the way, there's a little crack in the wind, in the plastic here. That doesn't really bother me as much, so that's fine. Buttons on, let's talk about the buttons on the steering wheel. This is the volume control right here. Volume control right here. And right there um, this is your cruise control for set cancel and there uh, I have yet to figure out how to set the cruise control because I done forgotten how to set the cruise control on a freight on an international all right so kind of stinks I can't remember but I'm gonna have to look it up guys so yep Hello, Atlantis. I also have... Oh, can I do that? 
Oh, I don't think I can, can I? I'm not going to be able to, am I? Oh, that's going to stink if I can't. Oh, yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. All right, we can. I can hook up my computer. That's awesome. I can indeed hook up my computer. I have another USB port right here. Like, I have a whole bunch of them, and I don't really understand why I need so many of them. But that's all right. It works. That's awesome. I'm glad to know that works. So, pizza. My pizza right here. So, oh, look. Lantis is loving that window, by the way. Huh. Huh. She loves looking out the window, guys. She really does. Hello, sweetheart. Hello. So, yep, there's there's Atlantis. For those who don't know who Atlantis is, that is Atlantis. That is my traveling companion. She loves looking out windows. This is why partly one chose the internationals for the windows for her to look out because she likes looking out windows. As you can tell, she loves the windows. So, that is the key. Is If she's happy, I'm happy. Right, Atlantis? Correct. That's a good idea. All right, let's do a real quick outside tour because, again, my phone is not charging correctly, and I don't know why. So let's, let's try to hurry this up a little bit, please. All right, let's go outside. Yes, I am a lease purchase person. I am doing lease purchase, which means I'm planning on buying this truck or upgrading to a newer one. Yeah, it needs a wash because it's absolutely ridiculous. Back here. You have a fifth wheel. Already greased up, ready to go. I will probably move my fifth wheel up a little bit more to where my trailer is lined up right here. I'll show you guys that when I can. I got my airlines. Red airline, blue airline. Making sure that they're hooked up correctly. And that I'm not gonna have a problem because the last time they hooked it up wrong and I ended up having issues and I don't want the issue happening again. Fuel tank right here, unlike the Freightliner, I have to go from the side to fill it up and not from the back. Right here, I think these are, I wanna say these are 75 gallon tanks or 50 gallon tanks, one of the two. All right, one of my favorite features right here, guys. This is the bullhorn. All right. It's also a pain in the butt to have to remove. All right. Uh, yeah. Hold on, guys. Why I, uh, why I try to get you guys up here. Hold on one second. like when it's down all right let's go quickly over my engine compartment oh, excuse me over my engine compartments here as you can tell lift up the hood one-handed. I can do one-handed. Just like that. Alright guys, this is a this is a coming CX-15. Alright. That's a coming CX-15 right there. It says coming CX-15. A lot of horsepower behind this. Your fuel pump uh, filter, power steering pump, air intake for turbo 
and a whole bunch of other stuff power and all that stuff on this side and the Freightliner this is located right here the power steering is located right here and this is actually located down here in the Freightliner all right on this side the passenger side you got your one uh your uh windshield fluid right here that's normally tucked away back here in a freight liner the power your cooling system right here which is on the other side in a freight liner right there again your air intake and stuff i don't like all this rust but that's okay nothing to be worried about there i'm going to plug you guys back in well again this is a cummings x15 a cummings c or a cummings cx15 engine right there means i got some serious horsepower back there guys all right i got some serious horsepower back here all right this is what it looks like from my view oh excuse me apologies guys but that's what it looks like from my view all right all righty plug you guys back in because I don't want you guys to pass out, all right? So, all right. But that's what the view is from that side, all right? All right. So again, this is a tour of my truck. I know it's not the prettiest tour, but it does the trip, right? Anti-freeze stain. Yep. Yep, something like that. Ah, uh, they need to... Ah, uh, it is at minimum, so we're still good with that. Yeah, we're still good with that. But yeah, guys, so... As you can tell, that's what my engine looks like. It's got a hydraulic, a hydraulic hood thing right there in the middle to keep it up and down to help me lower it without clashing it. Those are your pins right there. I got them on both sides right there. Alright. So. Not bad, don't you think? I don't think it's bad. So. Yeah, I don't think it's bad at all actually. All right, guys, give me one second. I'm going to go close everything up, and I'll be right back. All right. Of course. I forgot. I can't really have you guys. Because my thing isn't actually wanting to cooperate. Ouch, like that. So, give me one second, guys. I'll be right back. Gonna close everything up on the outside. I'll give you guys a view of the ceiling here. Alright, I'll be right back, guys. It says now I have 210 miles of fuel and I only had like 135 last time. I don't get it. That's okay.
right. Kind of blow my nose because I got the runny nose. Hello, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. You know. There we go. No CB yet on account of I have to buy my own CB radio, but this is a uh... that is correct, Devils. It's probably correct, but I'm not going to assume anything. All right, guys. So again, uh. CB radio is right here for wiring. I'm not even sure if I'm going to have a CB radio yet. I would like to have one, but they're a lot of money, all right? I'm not really sure. Personally, I should have stuck with the Freightliner, but here's the problem. They didn't have any Freightliners. I'm like, all right, let's just go with the International. Um, it's perfectly fine by me. Uh, it, it works, you know, the international works for me. I'm used to an international. I would like to have the bloody sticker for that, but I don't see one, so I don't understand. So, yeah, that's all right, you know. That's perfectly fine by me, you know. So... However, it's been a very good day so far, all right? So we got the truck cleaned out. I got the stuff moved into the truck. Now we're just waiting on uh, unloads and stuff to come out of this area. It's gonna be a minute because I also have to find me an empty trailer, which is harder than, easier said than done. So yeah, we'll see how the rest of the week goes. But yeah, we'll just have to wait and see, you know. But yeah, that was the tour of the international truck, you guys. I hope you guys like it. No place on roof mount. Yep, nothing. I don't see anything of that nature, unfortunately. It doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like there's anywhere to really place a TV mount guys they didn't really think that through but that's okay um I could probably figure something out if I had to but again I can't make any permanent changes to the truck not allowed so so but all good, man. You know, but it's been a good day so far, and uh, I personally like it so far, guys. You know. Yep, you're right about that. I can. So I got my laptop right here. You know? So. Jesus. But yeah, guys. So that, let me guys, uh. Huh, let me guys know what you think about the truck. And, um. What I can do to improve on it. It's not going to be overnight that I can improve things. But we'll get a jump start on it. You know. Uh, like I said. This is all new for me. I have a lot to learn when it comes to. When it comes to having to. Um, figure things out like this. I don't have a place to mount a TV. I mean I probably do. Like if I can figure out how to get. 
a clamp for a TV and mount it that way, that might work. Might be able to do something up here. Who knows, actually? Yeah, I'll figure it out, you know? Uh, a bunch of driver's side corner where the cigarette lighter is and is a strap for the... Is a, uh, probably, actually, Mark, now that you think of it. You're probably... You're probably right. Because if you look, we got a strap here, and we have a strap over here. I'd like to know what the strap is for right here, to be honest with you. Because it looks like it could easily You got a strap over there and a strap over here. Where do I put the refrigerator? Uh, uh, not the refrigerator, but the uh, microwave. See, there's a lot of differences between trucks. And everyone says that trucks are all the same. They're not at all all the same at all. Um, for instance, uh, you know, in the Freightliner, that has a desk works you know it works for me uh do i have a mouse on here i better have a mouse no one knows i better have a mouse say okay. nice little mouse do some editing of the videos and that stuff that's for the tv how is it for the tv that's what i'm confused about how is that for the tv how because it doesn't seem like it would work. I mean, it could. But how is my question? You know? Hmm. We'll have to discuss that because uh, if it is, that's awesome. You know? But yeah, I agree. But I know it's a little messy, guys, and it's not because it is a mess. It's because uh, it's a lot to do, you know what I mean? All right, so real question of the day, guys. Has any ads popped up within the hour that I've been live? Has any ads popped up? By the way, that's a lot of dead waste of space there. But there is like a little rack there that I could, uh... Oh, there's a little rack there. Huh. Right there. That I could probably hang clothes on or something. Oh, I'll have to figure that out, aren't I? So, no ads? Good. Thank God. That was my biggest fear was ads on the live stream. I don't like ads on the live stream. Unless they force it on me. That's good. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. Not designed for a flat screen tie-down. Uh, that might be a problem. Where am I going to get a TV then? That's the question. If I wanted a TV, I couldn't get a TV. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't understand. Hmm. That's good. I'm glad to know that there were no ads in the process of making this video. Hold on. My thing came undone. Oh, crumbs. Oh, jeez. I'm getting... Plug that in. That's good. Plug that in. And then we plug in. Then we plug that in. It's so loose. I don't like how loose that is. And we should have a green light. Or some light of some. There it is. Light right there. 
that means it is working. Now the real test. Hello, Barry! Ah. Interesting. Hmm. I think I'm going to have to let my computer charge. My computer's dead. That's not good. No, that's not good. But that's all right. I'll, I'll have to figure that out, won't I? Oh, it's actually turned on. Somehow. Some way, some shape, some form. Ah, there it is. All right. A reboot is needed. See, a reboot is needed, guys. So we'll reboot it and do it like that. You'll see. Hopefully it works. I'm hoping. Come on. There it is. My laptop. My laptop is working. Ha 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 ha. Good stuff right there, guys. But I don't have any internet. Unfortunately. I have no internet. Which kind of stinks, to be honest. So, can I hook up to the Wi Fi in the truck? See if I can hook up to the Wi Fi on the truck. I doubt I can. Traps all password locked. All password. I think it's all password locked. Crap. It's all password locked, you know. When will you get a fridge and a microwave? Uh, you know, that's a good question. I'll answer that only because I don't know the answer. And whole because a refrigerator could cost up to three, four, five, six, seven hundred dollars. All right, just for the refrigerator because I have to get something that'll fit in that crevice area. Microwave, I have no idea because it's at the house and I didn't think I was gonna get a truck that would uh, let me work at the house. So, so a bit tricky if you know what I mean. Um, it, it is a bit tricky. You know, I'm not sure when I'm going to get any of that stuff. Really depends on, A, I first got to cover the first few weeks of my expenses. Seeing I'm not going to get paid for two weeks, guys. I really am not. Uh, just sat an entire week waiting on a truck. And then I uh, had to wait two days for the truck to get inspected. Had to wait two days for the truck to get inspected. And then, um, also had to wait on, on, um, I just had to wait on a whole bunch of stuff, you guys, so, you know, but, uh, I'm not sure when I'm going to get any of that stuff, to be honest with you. Uh, personally, it's fine for now until I get a refrigerator and a microwave. I had a cooler, but I left that at the house, too. Because, you know, I don't think. Which is not good, you know? But, yeah. Just some minor stuff here that uh, I don't understand how any of this stuff happened. But it did. So, what can I say? You know what I mean?
should not have done that, but that's okay. I had to figure that out too. So. Interesting. It says that we have 210 miles till we're empty. I don't believe that for a minute. So. But that's all right. But that was the tour, guys. That was the tour of the truck. And that was the tour of the truck that I am currently um, doing for you guys. But I also need to get a haircut. My God, my hair is so long. But that's okay. But really, it's, it's, a, it's a good day. It's been a very good day, guys. Um... I'm hoping tomorrow or Monday we'll roll out and get a load and be heading out and making money and actually doing really well with this. Um, I'm looking forward to this challenge and I'm looking forward to, to, to show you guys how successful or, or unsuccessful I can be at this. I say that with a grain of salt because I really don't know what I'm getting myself into in terms of just what I've learned so far, you know. Um, we'll see you know um i know one thing these guys when they're lease purchase and they walk away they come back with like no gas for the other driver that takes over the trucks so i have to figure out how to put gas in the car or gas in the truck without spending a whole lot of money before i even made my first load so we'll see we'll see how that goes you know but, uh, air tank's filled up. That's a good sign. And that's always a good sign when they fill up. So, am I driving anywhere tomorrow? Uh, probably not. I have to get an empty. They don't have any empties on the yard. Um, we'll see if planning can get me an empty somewhere. I can drive there and get an empty and then wait for a load. But most likely it's not going to have any loads. So we'll see. You know. So. I didn't even notice the misspelling. It's all good. It's all good man. It's all good. But yeah. It's been a whole week of switching trucks. And waiting for this inspection to be done on this truck. It passed the inspection. They fixed a few things. I'm going to check one simple little fact, though, because, you know, my curiosity. Wipers work. Make sure work. Good. They work. Awesome, beautiful. Wipers work, you know. Yes, fuel. So, um, fuel is a key thing around here, guys, where, um, uh, the car is at the terminal where it's safe and secure. That's where I leave my car. There's a reason why I do that, though. Could I leave it where I live? Absolutely. But where would I put the truck without it getting risk of getting towed? You know? Uh, I have to ask the city... Per, uh, I would have to ask the city permission to park my truck in a safe location. You know? Without it getting risk of being towed. You know? Um, some cities have ordinances, ordinances where you can't park a semi-truck. Doesn't matter what day it is, what year it is, or anything like that. They will not allow you to park a semi-truck in their area. Has a lot to do with also noise ordinances and noise pollution. They want to cut that to a minimum. I understand what they're coming from, so I'm going to call the city um, next time and, and ask them about how that works, you know. So company message machine what
company message machine? I'm a bit confused by that. You mean the uh, way they communicate is on the tablet? I can't really show you guys the tablet because that's got stuff on there that I can't really disclose to you guys. But we have a tablet in the truck that we communicate with on on uh, at least the purchase side and a company side. So and I can't really show you that due to policy of confidentiality and stuff. So it's got things on there that I can't show. So hopefully you guys can understand. Apologies, didn't mean to make that sound rude. It's just I can't show you guys the, the, the communication tablet that we use. Um, I have an app on my phone that I use to communicate as well that I can look at. I also have ways of managing my fuel. Let me know how that goes. Um, I, I can't really... I used to be able to idle my truck without a care in the world to an extent. Um, now I have to really manage my fuel, which means I can't idle my truck whenever I just want to. I better be having a load that pays for the fuel for me to idle, basically. And if it's really, really hot to where it's, like, godly uncomfortable for not for me, but for my cat, I will idle that truck. So, um, they do have a parameter on that that will not idle regardless of how hot or cold it is. It's the fuel saving thing that they are doing as a company driver, but as a lease purchase, I don't know if they actually installed it in the truck, so I'm pretty sure they did. Just to kind of help us drivers out as well, because we want to save money as well. So, looking forward to this challenge, guys. I'm really, 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 really looking forward to a lot of things. So, but yeah, um, it, it's going to be fun gonna be a lot of fun and it's gonna be a lot of challenges involved with this so we'll just have to wait and see and I have to just see how it goes you know but, but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the tour of the truck I hope you guys learned a lot from the tour of the truck I hope my sarcasm and entertainment value was there but if not oh well I'm sorry um I just wanted to show you guys the differences of what I have on the truck so you guys see what I have to deal with. I forgot I have a big, bloody, gray, ugly antenna hanging on the side of my truck for my CB and radio, which I don't like. See, Freightliner is not about more of a presentation look. Which is fine. So, it's all good there. You know, but yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed that because that was fun. Um, gonna conserve my phone battery here until it charges up fully. Uh, let me guys, let me know what you guys want to see next on the next stream and stuff like that, other than me driving because I will show you guys driving, that's fine. And, um, sorry it's taken so long and everything else, but. I couldn't rush the chat, the process of them. Um, couldn't, I could not show the process of them cleaning the truck like I wanted to. Uh, it was a long process. Well, it was a good process. So, I'm looking forward to it, you know. I can't believe they remove the manuals when they get the trucks they remove them they get rid of them completely kind of surprises me that they would get rid of the manuals but i don't know why you would think that's something that the uh, i would want to keep you know so absolutely so like i know i want to get seat covers because these are god awfully god awful looking seats i don't like the seat covers but I will get that eventually and and go from there. I'll do some minor fixes, but really I'm not going to go too overboard with it because I got to first be able to purchase the truck before I do anything with the truck. So, you got you to gotta crawl before you walk and then you got to walk before you run. And then you got to uh, run before you sprint. 
and then you'll get to the finish line. Basically how that works, guys. But yes, so I did a... Hopefully this stream helped a little bit on what the trucks looks like, and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to now go take a nap because I'm tired. I'm also going to finish eating my pizza a little bit and see how things go from there. And if I'm really feeling up to it, I'll do a stream tonight of a chat stream and see how everybody does and see how things go. Um, but that'll be later on tonight if I'm up to it. And if I'm not running tomorrow, I'll still do like a just a regular chat stream tomorrow, which it won't be a probably definitely have buttons replaced absolutely so we'll just have to take it one step at a time and just gotta make it one one step at a time so anyway apologies thank you guys for watching the stream i hope you guys um I don't have a TV. I do not have a TV yet, guys. Um, I don't have a TV. I have to figure out how to get a TV in here. If not, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna have to. Uh, I'm just gonna have to uh, figure that out. But uh, I'm sure I can figure something out for that. But uh, anyway, guys, from Double A Trucking. I'm in Anthony. Lantis is back up there sleeping like a king that she is. Queen, sorry, queen. She's taking her afternoon nap. I'm now going to go take my afternoon nap. I'll catch you guys later on tonight. Thank you. Bye-bye. Please, please leave a like and a thumbs up. And subscribe to the channel and share the channel. Let other people know about it. That would be greatly appreciated. And thank you guys again for watching. Bye.